The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gather in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Nephites, so will the Son of Man to be this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because he came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Wala pang, wala pang nakarating sa langit at bumalik dito sa atin para sabihin kung balita sa atin kung anong nangyayari sa langit. Nobody has gone to heaven and come back to tell us what, what happens and what goes on in heaven. So, we might be in for a surprise when we get to heaven, no? Maring kung sakasakaling pagpalain tayo at maka, makarating tayo sa langit, eh, magugulat na lang tayo kung sino yung makikita natin doon. Of course, God will be there. Hindi tayo magugulat. Pero yung ibang mga tao na makikita natin doon, baka magulat na lang tayo. So there was this priest, priest who died, pari siya. So sabi niya sa sarili niya, Malamang, at least iniisip niya, malamang eh, baka kapasok na siya sa langit, si pari siya, di ba? So, pagdating niya dun sa pearly gates, eh, hindi siya agad-agad nakapasok, nandun lang siya sa labas ng gate ng heaven. So, kumakatok siya, St. Peter, St. Peter, ano po nangyari? Kapasukin niyo po ako dito sa langit. Bumukas yung pinto ng kaunti, nalubas si St. Peter, ano po? Ano pong kailangan nyo? What do you want? Let me in, let me in. I'm a priest. Pari ako. Ah, sandali lang po. In the meantime, nung bukas pa yung pinto, nakita niya dun sa loob, may isang kilala niyang taxi driver, nasa loob na ng langit. Eh siya nandito sa labas, nagiintay. So siya, bakit yun? Nandun sa loob na. Why is that guy, that pre, I mean, that taxi driver already inside while I'm still here outside knocking at your doors? Sabi ni St. Peter, eh kasi yung taxi driver na yun, habang nagdadrive siya, yung mga pasahero niya nagdadasal. Nagdadasal dahil ang bilis-bilis magmaneho. He brought many to heaven because they were praying, praying for their lives you know, while he was driving. Eh ba, ako, sabi niya, you... While you were preaching, people were asleep, <laughs> or bored, <laughs> or, uh, or were not listening. No? So, nandun, yung taxi driver sa lang. Of course, that's, uh, that's not real, di ba? Kaya lang, but that is true though. But we are not sure who, will, who we will find in heaven. Hindi tayo sigurado, it's, it's all in the, in the hands of God. Pero meron siya sabi sa atin yung gospel. The Gospel tells us a hint on how to go to heaven. Anong sinasabi ng Gospel? Sinasabi ng Gospel, It is not your wealth. It is not your uh, social standing. It is not your power. It is not your academic degrees. It's not your position in society. That will bring you to heaven. You might feel like you're in heaven now, Dami mong pera, marami kang power, popular ka. You might think that this is your heaven. But this is not your heaven. 
And those things are not going to bring you to heaven. Anong sinasabi ng gospel that will bring us to heaven? Conversion and repentance. Conversion and repentance are those which will bring you to heaven. Bakit? E kasi yung example sa gospel, the queen of the south, the queen from the south, hindi siya malayong lugar, hindi siya, hindi siya kasama sa chosen people. Layo-layo nung pinagalingin, narinig niya, she heard about the wisdom of Solomon. She traveled far para lang marinig yung, yung wisdom ni Solomon. And from that, of course, changed her life, repented and converted. Yung mga tao, tao sa Nineveh, they heard the, the preaching of Jonah. They too con- repented and converted. So yun ang nag- nagdadala sa atin sa langit. Conversion and repentance. Pagsisisi at pagbabago ng buhay. Hindi tumitigil sa pagsisisi. Kailangan din magbago ng buhay. Conversion and repentance. We are a work in progress. Hindi tayo pwede natin, hindi natin pwede sabihin sa sarili natin, I've made it. dami ko ng dasal na ginawa, ang dami ko ng uh, kabutihan ginawa. Ayos na. Tapos na, kumbag graduate na ako, sigurado na ako. We can never say that. We are a work in progress. Every time, there's something to be converted about. Every time in our lives, there's something better to do. Every, t- every moment in our lives is always something to change in how we look at life, in how we relate with other people. We are a work in progress, a work towards more conversion, a deeper conversion, and a deeper repentance. Now as we celebrate Lent, meron sa ating sinasuggest na dati namang nandyan na maging as a very concrete sign of conversion and repentance. Ano yun? Confession. Diba? We confess. A sincere confession is a very clear sign of conversion and repentance. But as I said, it doesn't stop there. As long as we're still alive, we continue to keep on going through a journey of conversion and repentance. Pagsisisi at pababago ng buhay. But the, the season of, of the church's season of Lent now uh, encourages us and invites us, encourages us to go to confession as a concrete sign of conversion and repentance. So we, today we maybe need to ask ourselves as a, towards conversion and repentance, we need to ask ourselves in what ways, in what other ways, Can I be better? Ano bang mga pwede ko pang gawin para maging mas, mas mabuting tao, mas mabuting kristyano? What do I need repentance for? Ano bang mga nagawa ko so that I need repentance for those things? What sin should I get rid of and change? What habitual sin, what sin that I have done, you know, big sin that I've committed, that I need repentance and I need to change. How long has it been since my last confession? Baka tagal-tagal na, no? Minsan ibang mga tao. Pagkatapos ang first confession, mag- first communion, hindi na naulit, no? So maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for us to think about going to confession. So Lent is a season of repentance. Lent is a season of conversion. And it's our choice, it's our turn to, uh, to make that repentance and conversion true in our lives.